in this video I'll show you how to install Git Realtime. It's available free at my website uh, gitmyrealtime.com. And to do that we need to go to free downloads. Closes. And right here you can see where to download the setup file. And if you don't have Git Access or MS Microsoft Access, you can download the runtime that uh, will allow you to use it. But that's only if you don't have Microsoft Access installed. Okay, I've already downloaded Git Realtime setup, so let me go to where I downloaded it on my computer. Downloads, there it is. Setup Git Realtime.exe. Let's run that. Let's run. And we're going to put it in program files, get real time. If you change this location, you'll have to change your connection st strings on two of the programs. Let's continue with this. Next. Next. Create a desktop icon. Next. Install. If you've already installed some, uh, well, if you already have these DLLs installed on your uh, computer then it'll give you an error. Just hit ignore. That means you have already got these files. Ignore, ignore, ignore. And ignore. And uh, okay we'll launch it. And there it is. If you get this far the connection string for get real time was already it was set uh, to program files get real time. And you can set the connection down here if you got the air right there. Okay. Let's close this and uh, let's go back to our website. And after we've downloaded it, we can go to the next step and we'll go to help. Uh, and let's go to program setup. Okay, we've downloaded it. I installed it and the next step is to fire up git access. Okay. Let's go to git access. Uh, install it in program files. Git real time. Git access. And here's the files that are associated with git access. Uh, there's the Microsoft access database. Git access HDB MDB which is a Microsoft 2003 access, access uh, file. And that's the only database file there is. Okay, um, and here's a setup file, and that shows the connection string. And here's the program get access. Let's run that. And here's a listing of all the sites as examples, different kinds of data types. Uh, and naming conventions you can figure out by looking at this. Now if we go to data tables, um, hit allow edit and go to our site. Our site is the table with all the um, all the uh, station information and hit our site and hit go and here's all the um, station information. So you can see at this site uh, 33 there's several data types and there's a data type site ID. They all have end in 33 for the site 33 and the first two numbers are the <coughs> uh, data type ID like 1033 would be 10 rainfall 1533 is for pressure 1633 and so forth. You can look at that, get an idea how that works. And also on the website help, we'll describe it more. Okay, so that's uh, about all there is here. Let's close this. Now let's go back to our web page. There was get access. Let's go to get real time. Uh, Get real time, and here's the get real time executable. Um, here's the setup that you can edit with the program or do it manually with 
uh, notepad. Okay, let's run Git real time. And uh, the tutorial says to download uh, all the stations, but for now let's just uh, select three or four to run. Like that for now. Say OK. And we want seven days. Let's get to the something to graph. And uh, let's start it. It's down. I mean, these are all USG upload gauges. That look. Okay, that's finished. And if you get a bad value check, you can hit cancel and it'll ignore it, or you can turn it off here, or you can reset your amount of uh, change from one value to the next before it gives you an error. Okay, let's close this. Go back to our website. And that was Git Real Time. We've downloaded seven days. Okay, now let's go to gitgraphs.exe. Um, Git graphs right there. And here's the Git graphs executable. And here's the setup file. I'll just show you what it looks like. For each page, you've got uh, it's a graph. And this is information of the different parameters up here to tell you what to do, but you, the program itself can edit this, but sometimes it's easier just to cut and paste uh -huh. using Notepad up here. Okay, here's gitgraph.exe. Click that, and it's loading several websites for us, web pages, to display along with our data that we just downloaded. This says 30 day trial, but it uh, it doesn't expire in 30 days. But if you would like to register it for $20, you can go online and register it right here. But for now, let's continue it. Uh, here's a website that didn't come in. It must be an old website. Uh, there was we didn't download any of this data with Get Real Time, and here we we are selected gauges that we did download show up. Uh, and this shows you how you can set up different graphs. You can enlarge it, uh, shrink. Uh, you can, when you right click on a graph, you can uh, get a menu to do several things. Change your colors. And when you cl just click, uh, left click on a graph uh, page to the next page and let me see how that goes. So some graphs mixed in with the uh, web pages. And that's about it. That's a good one.